This year had been absolutely transformative for me. There had been numerous tiny changes in my eating habits, sleeping habits, cooking, career, health and just in terms of overall lifestyle. Although tiny, but there are significant steps towards a conscious living approach. Namaskaram everyone, hi! In this video, I'll be sharing the few changes I made in my kitchen and eating habits this year. The first one is the dry fruits, fresh fruits and groundnut consumption. I always avoided dry fruits, fresh fruits and even nuts growing up. I did not know their health benefits and honestly, I did not care in my teens. But when I started working and was trying to form a healthy lifestyle, there was some awareness as to why I should begin consuming them. But then again, there was no strong motivation um, to make it into a daily habit. Sometimes I did try, but the practice never lasted for more than a few days. So I really missed the health benefits of them. But this year, there was a degree of awareness about it. I understood you don't need motivation for everything, but just proper sense to see what's needed for the body, understand my own health and work towards a better health. It almost took me three months to get into the habit of soaking dry fruits and nuts overnight and having it every day in the morning. I missed soaking on several nights, but I created a backup plan where I would have dry fruits which can be eaten directly like figs or even add raisins, dates and roasted nuts in my salad or I have fruit in the evening if I missed it in the morning. Fruit is one aspect that nature itself intends to be food. They are highly nutritious and rich in proteins, vitamins, dietary fibers and minerals with a lot of benefits. Groundnut is another important part of a yogic diet and is considered to be a complete food by itself, packed with nutrients and protein. Consistency was the key and having a backup plan and being conscious about why am I eating them and what will my body miss out on if I don't include them in my diet. All these aspects help me in adding a few fruits, dry fruits and groundnuts to my everyday meal this year. The next change was moving away from plastic containers to glass containers. I was using plastic for most of the storage purposes in my kitchen. My spice box was plastic, my lentils, grams and grain containers were plastic. Although many plastic boxes are marked BPA free, it's best to avoid plastic for our health and health of the planet. Also, most plastic in the world is not recycled and usually ends up in landfills where it degrades very slowly. I switched from these containers to glass containers. I purchased some large ones for lentils and reused many empty honey bottles for storing dry fruits, seeds and nuts. The spice box which is the heart of my kitchen is also now a stainless steel box which helps to retain the quality of spices for a longer time. This was an easy switch to make and it's an ongoing work in progress. I still have a few plastic containers and I know in a few months all of these will be replaced. I feel happy every time I use these glass jars in my daily cooking. The next change was moving away from teflon coated cookware to pure iron or steel cookware. I remember from the early days when I started working and cooking my meals, I just bought non-stick cookware due to its easy cooking and maintenance process. Only in recent years have I learned about the harm that this non-stick cookware causes. Maybe not all non-stick cookware is bad, but I really wanted to try out the old traditional ways of using pure iron tawas for its health benefits, so I bought them. Now the challenge was, I was a bit careless about taking care of them and it took me a few months to get used to them. Even now, as you can see, I have seasoned them and I need to clean them again to remove any rust. In the meanwhile, if I prepare any dosa or chapati or curry, I use steel utensils or non-stick tawa in the worst case. See the coating of this non-stick tawa has come out in many places and cooking in this is not good. 
in a few months this tawa will be seasoned with usage and it's going to become easier to cook in this without worrying much about our health this was definitely a good move this will become my prized possession in a few years if you enjoyed this video so far please like and subscribe next is dinner time this is something that has kept changing for the last 10 years it used to be 7 pm then later as i started working traveling and managing my family life there had been days when my dinner time was beyond 10 pm although i switched to two meals a day the dinner time always varied however being in isha ashram and having dinner at 7 pm for most of the day for seven months I have experienced how easy it is for the body to digest food and maintain at least 3 hours gap before going to bed and in turn wake up early. So in the last couple of months, I work towards eating dinner early, avoiding heavy foods and also keeping it light and healthy, just as suited for this weather. Of course, there were times when we used to be out with friends and enjoy occasions with full course meals. I managed to balance that by going on a fruit diet a few days in a month. Managing dinner time is yet another conscious ongoing process which I wish to continue. The last change I want to share with you today is about cooking oil which plays an important part in our health. I switched from refined sunflower oil to using more saturated fats like ghee, coconut oil, cold pressed sesame oil and extra virgin olive oil. I mostly use extra virgin olive oil in preparing salads, ghee and sesame oil for every day for sorting and cooking. They are non-refined, highly stable and don't oxidize upon heating as well. This was an easy switch to make and will continue this habit on to the next year. Overall, these were some of the small changes I made this year and hoping to become more aware of various other aspects related to healthy eating and lifestyle and share them with you. I would also love to know the changes you made so feel free to leave a comment. I'll see you again in a new video in the new year. May grace always be with you and support you in your adventures towards a conscious living. Namaskaram. Bye.